Sam Edmund and Tom Morris with you. Tom, something we've both been working on over the course of the last hour or so has mm. got to a stage now where we feel comfortable that we can report well, it. Well, Sammy, why don't you take it away? Tell us what you just put on Twitter just then. Uh, multiple clubs say this afternoon that Collingwood, uh, Tom, is now open to trading Jack Ginevan, the contracted forward that's uh, that's on their books for 2024. Rival clubs, multiple clubs that we have spoken to over the course of the last half an hour or so now say that it's been made clear to them that Collingwood would consider trading Jack Ginevan, obviously, yep. if the right offer presented itself. So if one club says this, there can be a, a hidden meaning that we don't know and potentially um, yep. not trust. If two separate clubs are saying this, and we have confirmed they're separate clubs, um, then this has to be on to a degree. There has to be that they're at the very least they're willing to listen to offers for Jack Ginevan. And it's something that we have floated without actually knowing for sure over the past few days. Well, it's since Lockie Schultz came in. No, and the opposite. We have checked that out historically because yeah, we as we said, it was on the front page of the Herald Sun straight after the Lockie Schultz trade request came in, which which to which was unfair. Yeah. Because there was there was nothing from the player or the player's camp. There was nothing at all at that stage. And we report this this afternoon, not sure of Jack Ginnivan's intentions. No. Like Jack can obviously choose to stay. Um, not sure if he's even the one driving it. I don't believe he is. But certainly rival clubs have been informed that there is a chance mm. to prize Jack Ginnivan out of Collingwood. Um, so it's one to watch going forward in the, over the next couple of days. And it makes complete sense, doesn't it? If, if Jack Ginnivan is open to it himself, then why would he not go to a club which is going to offer him guaranteed senior opportunities, a longer term deal, rather than be at Collingwood, where there's every chance, even though he's a premiership player yeah. and in the 22, he might start in the VFL oh, next the fight, year. The fight is on. The yeah. fight is on for spots at, at Collingwood, which is great for Collingwood because either he stays, where, where I'm, which I'm sure they're relatively happy with, even though they seem to be sort yeah. of encouraging this, because may the best man win. You know, you've got a deep squad yep. with options everywhere, or he leaves. And you get something back nice the other way. Yeah, what is nice? Probably a oh, second rounder. I'll be asking for a second. Yeah, no no worse than second. Probably anything above 20 is probably a little bit too much. Well done, Sammy. That's um that's 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 a very interesting one with Jack Inevan. He he's at the front of many discussions over the past few weeks for a variety of reasons. He even had a little bit of a lighthearted crack at you on Grand Final he Day, did. didn't he? I love it. he's a great fella. Yes. And he does he's a free spirit. He does things his way. And if these this is, and we're putting, you know, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge with this. It might not even go anywhere from no. here. But if it does, I'm sure he will attack it, you know, with all the energy that we know that he that he has. Uh, I think we've got his landing spot, Jack Ginevan. Are you ready to go, don't only be ready to go when you are? His most likely landing spot. Really? We'll leave a little bit of wiggle room. You, but some impeccable sources. Are you going to go here. now or are going to wait? Let's go now. Okay. While we're guess, talking about him. Where's he going? Impeccable sources state Hawthorne absolutely in the box wow. seat to secure Jack Ginevan, who has recently returned from a Bali break. Mm -hmm. And my mail is he might have even been meeting with Hawthorne today oh. to finalise what a new contract would look like out at Waverley Park. That is amazing. That This has moved so quickly. So quickly. Well, I think this is, yeah, and in actual fact, I guess these things are in train for a while, aren't they, before we're aware of them. But uh, I asked the Hawks about 10 days ago whether there was any truth to the Ginevan stuff, and they said no. But things do change, and the goalposts do shift, especially when Lockie Schultz comes into Collingwood. Once, uh, yeah, and, and which had been yeah. obviously, you know, speculated upon and reported, but once it became official, then I guess these things can be fast-tracked, can't they? Um, so um, the Hawthorne Football Club, it's exactly what they're looking for. They're looking for class in the forward half, about yep. that sort of age. Um, they have draft picks that can satisfy Collingwood pretty easily. The question I have for you is, how likely do you think that this deal will get done? Just because a player's meeting with a club, it doesn't necessarily mean he's going to get there. I've lost my Bible, my, the Salty Dogs Bible, with all the picks. So oh, I'm yeah. going to have to get that back in my hot little hands because yeah. that would tell me what Hawthorne have. Well, I can tell you what Hawthorne have. So Hawthorne has pick four. That's that's too much for, uh, <laughs> for Jack Inevin, clearly. <laughs> Scroll back. Um, they've got, got their futures. pick 33. Right. Pick 33 is their next next selection. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not accepting that if I'm Collingwood. You want more than that? I want more than that. Well, it depends how desperate Collingwood are to, to move him on. Surely they can't 44. be that. I'm asking for a future second. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. Future second. Yep. So a future second um, tied to Hawthorne would yeah. be a pretty good pick, you would yeah, think. Yeah, just making sure they still have it uh, because we know that these picks have already started moving around as well. A future second tied to Hawthorne would make good sense, and they still have it, so they can offer that up to Collingwood. And you know what? The Pies might even ask for a little bit more, given that he's contracted, he's just played in a premiership. 
And we don't talk about this a lot, but I wonder if it's worth even 5%. He barracked for them as a kid. Mm. So is that worth anything in this situation? Maybe something. Maybe, as I say, is it 5%? Is it 10%? Is it 1%? It's got to be worth something. Do you think it? Do you think they'd let him go to the races on a Friday night before a game? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I don't think they no, would either. But Collingwood didn't really either in the end, and we heard from Craig McRae on that. So just reading out your tweet, Hawthorne in the box seat to sign Jack Ginnivan on a multi-year deal. Sources said Ginnivan was meeting with the Hawks today after returning from a Bali break. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens here. And that was after we earlier reported that uh, multiple clubs uh, today had said that Collingwood was open to trading yeah. Jack Ginnivan. And now course. it's being reported elsewhere as well. He's got a year to run on that mm. contract. So we'll, uh, we're pretty well across it here. Um, uh, some combined uh, resources from Tom and myself. So something to uh, watch as this... Uh, this next, what, hour and 12 minutes unfolds with us here on the Trade Feed. It's good to bring a new name to the table, and that's what's happened today on Trade Feed. And it's even better when um, it's being reported elsewhere as well, meaning that there's absolute legs with this. Even Mitch Cleary saying um, Hawthorne has expressed strong interest in Jack Ginnivan, yeah. which is information in addition to what we've had. Um, so, so I said he was meeting with Hawthorne. That means he's meeting with the coach, yep. Sam Mitchell. Now, he might even be meeting with him now. It was certainly as very, very recent as in today, yeah. earlier on today. So um, I think he'll finalise his deal there and we'll see what it is and what sort of... Collingwood don't muck around either, do they? No. That, uh, if this year is any guide, they're going to get this done quick. Yeah. What they accept, what Hawthorne are willing to give up. So you ran us through what they've got. They've got 33 this year. They've got their futures. Yep. We've established. So uh, something we will keep an eye on. Craig McRae, the coach, we spoke about his unique pre-grand final preparation going at the Mooney Valley races to watch yeah. the return of the group ones out there. Uh, this was the Collingwood coach. The grand final press conference this was after they've won the premiership um, regarding Jack Ginevan attending Mooney Valley the night before. Yeah, I mean, wasn't happy with it, but wasn't going to wasn't gonna die in a ditch over it at so, the same time. So we're prepared now to say that Jack Ginevan is highly likely to leave Collingwood for Hawthorne. <laughs> oh, I think it's... Uh... And this is 40 minutes after s- simply saying that clubs were aware that um, Jack Ginnivan could be on the trade table. That's how quickly it moves. And the more you think about it, the more sense it makes. It was always their more likely landing spot for Jack Ginnivan, even before we knew he was available for a trade, just by virtue of the fact that Tyler Brockman's left. Uh, Chad Wingard has re-signed, but he's not going to play next year. Yeah. They, as you say, they clearly need some class in their front half. The delay, if you like, on um, a player like Jack Gunston might have fed into that as well. Yeah. And Collingwood, by virtue of the fact that, absolutely stacked to the hilt in their front half, you look for security. You yep. don't just look to play every week. You look for security. It's not. It's it's a younger version of Taylor Adams. Yeah. You go for security. You've got to look after your own. Don't yeah. You? So 42 games at Collingwood, 5, 23, 14, in three successive years as Liam Pickering comes into the studio. Wish he'd come into the studio, actually, one day, Pickers, mm. for a chat. We asked him for a chat, but he politely Anyway, declined. that's fine. Um, But one year left on a deal, and there was rumours earlier this year that the Western Bulldogs were into him when he was playing VFL. Yep. Got back in the senior team. Played some good footy, ended up getting into the 22 for grand final day. And um, when players play in a grand final, you don't necessarily think they're on the way out. But when Collingwood goes and cherry picks another contracted player, Lockie Schultz, Mm. brings him in, they've already got Bobby Hill. They've already got Jamie Elliott. There might not be room for Jack Inovan to play, especially if the Hawks are offering three, four, maybe even five years. So it's just good management. I think it's capital sports management that look after um, Jack Inovan. And they would have told him, look, if you have another year potentially like you did this year mm. and you spend most of your year in the VFL and you're playing pretty good football in the VFL but you can't get back in, then what does your future look like after that when you're looking to re-sign? I mean, he's, his currency will never be hotter basically than what it is right now. That's good for Collingwood. That's good for Jack Ginnivan. He gets a fresh start. Um, he's also best mates, we're told, with Callum Brown, who's been at Box Hill this year. But he'd be hoping to make uh, a few more mates at uh, senior level at Hawthorne, of course, going forward. Not so much Box Hill. Um so that's where things sit at the moment. Well done, Sammy. It's good to share a story with you on the on our final day together. Likewise, it is our final day because tomorrow, a bit of housekeeping, yep. you'll be down at uh, Marvel for the exciting conclusion. Yes. Right up until deadline. Right up until deadline. I'm there for SEN, but there'll also be a, tele- a broadcast on Trade Radio as well, so you can have a choice. You can even have both on at the same time. 